super hi gorav how are you good good morning sir i am good sir hi congrats for d school thank so, you sir so please tell about your journey how you prepared and uh, what is your background and uh, so what uh, books you followed how many hours you studied and uh, what tests you did so these are useful questions for the future aspirants hmm. yes sir so i was from a non economics background so for me like the journey was a little challenging and also a little long like it took me two years i gave the paper in 2021 also but i could not clear so this was my second attempt so i think you cleared iit i guess in yes sir iit jam i cleared in 21 also and 22 also but in both the exams i got a rank like 37 this was the in no, wait yeah. ha, just just yeah. a bit hmm uh, yeah. way, in case even, of 20 even in isi sir even in isi yeah rank 55 like 55 and 74 in 21 and 22 so okay hmm yeah hmm so yeah so it was a little challenging but i think whatever i have learned not just academics but also the extra academic things like managing a schedule managing timelines uh, handling pressure and everything like all these things would help me in the future not just to and you uh, from background engineering sir oh engineering is yeah. is a good background to uh, clear because you will have the flair for maths na yeah yeah so that is going to be very useful hmm, yes. good okay and you did your engineering from where uh, i did uh, my engineering from nmims university mumbai okay good good so now tell about which books you followed uh, uh, yeah sir so for micro i would uh, i especially relied on nicholson snyder for theory and examples which are given even the back questions of nicholson snyder are good but i would uh, especially suggest the future aspirants to follow uh, hall variance mcq test bank that is like a very very good source because like uh, if if one starts solving those questions few questions would be very easy but few questions are a little indulging and that is required because d school and isi papers are having questions which means uh, they they need they need you to think out of the box and that is required yes, that's yeah true. so even even i knew only about the workbook part not the test bank part no sir test test bank is much means like the quality of questions are much good in the test there bank you questions which are very easy even in the test yeah, bank yeah, yeah, but yeah. but then there are few challenging questions here and there yeah, yeah. So we might have to look for them so what i used to do like suppose i am so i am uh, uh, practicing monopoly questions so in the first go i will solve all the questions now suppose out of 50 questions 25 are very easy so those questions i will mark that i do not have to solve this ne- next time but that uh, the rest 25 at okay. least five questions would be there that that is indulging and that requires a critical thinking so th- those five questions i will maintain on a excel sheet and mm-hmm. during revisions i will solve those five questions good good and uh, how you revise which, which books you followed you told yeah, about yeah. so for macro uh, oliver blanchard is very very good book and don bush fisher Uh, especially the oliver blanchard books exercise at the back uh, every chapters the chapters which are there in the syllabus of d school so those exercise that exercise is very very important the candidate needs to do it again and again and again because macro is a subject like there are individual dots and you have to connect everything and in the end you understand the whole story of how things are working right. so in islm model like we keep the prices fixed but when we go to ads the prices are variable so mm-hmm. this connection especially for a non economics background student who doesn't know these things so it will take time to have a grasp and connect every topic so you follow just one book for this yeah, yeah. don bush fisher and uh, oliver blanchard okay. for so, mathematics uh, sit setter hammond is a, like a wholesome book like there is everything in it yeah so shanti narayan's uh, elements of real analysis i add maybe the initial chapters 1 2 3 types uh, yeah yeah only 3 4 3 chapters from the starting Good. no no yeah. not entire book okay. stats so, and econometrics uh, stats i followed uh, blitzen uh, blitzen and wang and also degroot for some parts and econometrics i completely uh, completely relied on uh, the uh, the lecture notes and uh, gujarati's book that exactly. is it yeah for uh, uh, so what tests you did hmm. 
so like i did almost all the tests on the portal the compass portal like 48 dsa types were uploaded but i did 47 mm. and uh, doing tests is really really important because not just doing the test even analyzing the test sitting mm. after the test and analyzing each and every question so what i used to do i had two separate diaries one for maths and statistics and econometrics and the other one for macro and uh, uh, micro now after every test i used to uh, like suppose first 10 questions are from micro so question 1 2 3 are like this which topic that question is from i used to mention oh. and and through stars i would mention the difficulty level of that question so <laughs> question of 3 and above like 3 4 5 star would be those questions which i would solve just one week or 10 days before the exam because that would train me to like think beyond the box that is required yeah oh my, that that is that is uh, that's a time consuming task yeah yeah but, but it helps sir but it helps a lot yeah. so you have also written those answers as well uh, i used to solve it in uh, white sheets this is also very important that you need to solve the questions in white sheet because in the exam day you will be getting to a four sheets so hmm. you you have to optimize the space in that and you have to means that habit is very important like everything you can ask for more sheets no yeah we can yeah. ask but like suppose we have got three sheets and if we are optimizing each and every second there is important so yeah so because that creates a distraction you raise up your hand the invigilator comes he gives you the sheet mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that optimizing is very important and uh, so how much you were scoring in those tests i remember you yeah. there were spikes yeah my band was between 80 to 125 okay out of 200 yeah okay good good and uh, uh, what else you followed i mean in the sense that uh, you, how how you revised uh, the entire course you did how many cycles for that yeah sir so like uh, there are many exams during the year like the exams i targeted was iit jam isi igidr and dsc so even like two three exams in the mid i gave like iaft shivnathar and uh, madras school so these exams also i gave so uh, what my strategy was like because the exams are spread throughout the year what i used to do like whenever exams come come like a big exam like isi or dsc or igidr 20 days before that i used to have a plan like how i have to revise for micro what i used to do the weekly assignments which are there on the portal i used to open up the weekly assignments i see i could, i saw the questions i i used to solve them if i am not able to solve them i would leave the question at that point of time i would switch to the next question i would not see the solution at that point of time because i believe that seeing the solution at the first go is not something good like you have to try the question maybe, uh, maybe you can see it in the first go when you are doing it throughout the year but when you are revising it yeah don't yeah, do Uh, because yeah. otherwise uh, you will not be able to have that kind of critical thinking right so initially but you know what initially i don't want uh, students to get teased a lot because of difficult questions so i always urge them you use whatever mind you can apply on it and see the solution yeah. because yeah. the more number of solutions you will see uh, you will have more area to play with you will be able to apply that concept later on but later on when you are revising it it is always better that please do not see the solution and try to do it on your own then you will understand the little gaps here and there yes uh, which are there and you can fill them up yes you can fill them that even helps in exams like when you are uh, if there in an exam when you have a question and you are you are recalling so that that thing helps because when you are solving the weekly assignments then also you are recalling that which concept is mm-hmm. applied how it has to be applied like these are not straight questions that you will put up a formula and you will get the answer these are even the questions yeah critical thinking is required so hmm. even in the assignments there were few questions yeah. which were difficult yeah. and yeah. Of course, the other questions were easy as well yeah. okay and uh, how many cycles of uh, past years you did this goes without saying that this has to so like i had a preparation of 2 years like 21 22 both so more than 8 to 10 times both mm-hmm. isi and dsc oh that's yeah. good because uh, now i used to revise in different fashion like uh, a few times what i did i used to just revise stats like from 20 205 2005 2020 stats all the oh, question that's that's a better way to do to yeah. go about 
that's a better way to go about that's a very good way so one day you do all micro other day you do all macro this way that that's also very good it can even take two days because the number of questions are I means large because exactly. it is 15 years 15 years yeah. band so uh, it can take two days but it is okay like you can revise the subject or the entire subject including all the five uh, five subjects in a matter of eight to ten days and that is good to go for an exam like two past years yeah yeah yes sir through, through past years eight to ten days yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so don't include registers and all that in that so, so otherwise like that not the entire day like i was not solving the questions entire day i, I had a slot like eight to one was one slot 4 to 7 was one slot and 7.30 to 9.30 was one slot, 10 to 12 was one slot. So mm -hmm. this was my entire day schedule. So this also tells the amount of the work which one has to put in. Yeah, so, yeah. I used to, like average was 8 hours a day, average. But that's during the last leg of the preparation or throughout? No, 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 sir, entire year, like 2022, oh, January, okay. January to uh, November entire year, not November, like October. You will understand this, I mean... Uh, what kind of stamina you have built up for D-School then. Yeah. So because in D-School you will require it. Yeah, yeah. You'll yeah. eventually see that there you will have to study that way because the professors are assuming in their head, hunge sab. so I mean, that is their assumption. So it's yeah. good that you have reached that particular point that you can study for that much hours. That's good enough. Um, any other thing uh, which you want to tell to the future aspirants? Uh, so like for me this the one thing that helped me especially was a trackpad which i maintained the, i had named it eco tracker eco entrance tracker like on a google sheet what i used to do is i used to uh, make targets for every day date wise and at the end of the day i used to like write what i have done and what i could not do and there was a feedback loop on that like Today, I could not study for much hours because of this reason. I am not solving questions. This is ha harming my performance in the tests. I am reading more theory. That is not required. You have to solve questions. So this feedback loops which comes within you, you have to write it so that there is a track trackpad going on in which you are tracking your preparation. Every, every test marks should be entered into that and you should have a clear understanding of how your marks is fluctuating across the tests. So these, which chapters are being taught, which chapters are important, you have to color code them. Like these things are super important. Very good. Yeah, I mean, this much of tracking, even we have not done. So the only thing which I do is that uh, I need to write few pages every day. Mm -hmm. So of anything, maybe for macro, micro or econometrics, which I take. So I have to write something. So that is the, uh, that builds up knowledge over the years. So it's not like just one year, two year for, for you also tracking this much i mean this is uh, but you know what what happens with me is that i've made many registers ab mujhe mujhe pata hai ki kis register mein kaun sa question kahan pe solved hai but mm -hmm. i have not made those index indexes and all so now while listening to you i should also make those indexes to mujhe pata rahega kaun sa register mein kaun si cheez kahan pe padi hui hai so that's a very good way to track even your progress that is, you should understand that questions are wrong, where are you going to give more That is also very important. You can't just... That, helps, people... in, that yeah. helps in revision especially because there is a trackpad maintained. You know which questions you are not being able to solve, which questions are those questions which needs constant revision, like the you topics. Know, type test also, you have marked those questions which you have to see again. Those yes, not, not on the trackpad, but on the diary. Like I maintained two diaries. Yeah. Yeah, on that each and every question, uh, difficulty level, the topic, whether I'm able to solve it or not, everything was maintained. So yeah. during revision, I could just go back to that diary and see which questions I have to revise, which I do not have to revise. So, yeah. That's, that's a very good way. Like in 21, uh, 2021, I didn't used to do anything. And I used to do all these things in 22 and the results were significantly different. So these you things have their own mistakes. I mean, every time. So exactly. The... We have also learned from our mistakes and everyone will learn from our mistakes. I hope you don't do any mistake in D-School. So the only thing is, uh, Udhar, just study for that much number of hours and sit in Ratan Tata library till it closes. Yes, yes. That is, take it like a job, you know. I mean, I always tell my students, take D-School like a job because this is the mistake which we did. I don't want you guys because it's an opportunity which is given to you for a lifetime. It won't, these two years won't come back at yeah. all in life. I'm not saying don't enjoy, 
बट वट आई एम जस्ट सेंग इज टेक इट लाइक अ जॉब जस्ट गो देयर जैसे हमारे पेरेंट्स जाते हैं जॉब पे बस हम जॉब पे ही जा रहे हैं उसके बाद फिर एंड देन वी आर कमिंग बैक चल थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर डी स्कूल thank you sir i would like to thank you and ma'am sir especially the portal and the course like the lectures the assignments and especially the test so these are the only pillars through which like we get support and we are able to clear these exams because you have a past experience of how papers are coming and that that really helps us in preparing very good like thank you sir i hope to see you doing phd somewhere Uh, uh, sir yes sir like i i wish to do a phd but uh, i will plan just uh, like after the two years after after two, of course i mean but eventually i think because you coming from a job also no yes sir i did yes sir i was so, a financial analyst uh, at an iifs so the point is that you know the flavor of corporate yeah. job yeah yeah so now you can have some other flavor for phd or academics yeah. so this is like a, a preparatory course for Uh, PhD, yeah, yeah, MA, yeah. two two years of MA in D school. Yeah, so yeah. don't do the mistakes which we did. Clock. Right. Yeah. So it's like this. Chal. I mean, because what I regret is uh, uh, we have not done PhDs. We could have done. So, but I don't want you guys uh, don't to uh, not to have PhD. So go for PhD. That's very very important, right? Yes. Chal. Thank you, Vita. Bye bye. All the Thank best. You, Thank you, sir.